So digital health is really tying in with key trends in health and wellness at the moment as consumers look for more personalization in their diets and a, a way to improve their overall wellness. What we're noticing is this is coming from the likes of um, apps, for example, MyFitnessPal and Rise, as well as wearable electronics, such as the Jawbone, the Nike Fuelbound, as well as the Garmin apps. Wearable electronics are some of the fastest growing categories in consumer electronics, especially as uh, growth in tablets and smartphones slows down. Um, and a lot of this is being driven by growing interest in uh, fitness tracking devices. Uh, we refer to them mostly as uh, passive uh, uh, wearable electronics. Uh, so these are basically fitness trackers designed to uh, take an input from uh, a user's uh, body uh, about their activity levels and exercise habits and then feed it into some sort of an online uh, platform. Uh, so products like Fitbit, Jawbone have been uh, very popular. Real-time tracking is also becoming more important as consumers again feel that need for control over their diet, their fitness and their overall well-being. And as apps become more sophisticated, this um, level of detail which is offered to consumers increases so that they can get, for example, a breakdown of their macronutrient content and more on-the-go feedback. So within our health and wellness data at Euromonitor International, what we're noticing is that um, gluten-free foods, lactose-free foods, and even the non-dairy milk alternatives have seen very strong gl global growth. And many of the diets which are based on removing gluten from the diet, removing lactose from the diet, and even the FODMAP diet, which we're seeing an increasing number of consumers take part in, uh, have apps specifically tailored to these that show consumers what they can and cannot eat on a daily basis. 